make this bikini swimwear cover-up today it's so cute and so trendy to have like three piece and matching cover-ups so we're gonna be doing the one on the left which is the blue front scrunch version so the pattern is available in both a4 and a0 formats which is the copy shop format and the pattern is layered so you can isolate the size that you want you just want to make sure that if you're doing it at home you're printing it at 100% or do not scale and double check that the test square measurements match before you cut it out so if you're printing the A4 version, you might have to do some joining. You will have to do some joining, not might. You will have to do some joining. So when they are half hearts, you're just going to cut the pattern and match the letters together to form a full heart. And you can use a piece of tape or some glue, whatever that you prefer, and just cut it out in the size of your choice. You end up with two pieces like this, one for the front and one for the back. And don't be alarmed if you notice that the front pattern is way bigger. This is intentional because we're going to gather it and it's all going to fit and be super cute after. All you need is some stretchy fabric and some elastic. And of course, nylon or polyester thread. And you can just cut the pattern out. So you're going to just cut one for the front and one for the back on the fold. And I like to just place it out before I cut it just to make sure I'm you know, minimizing my wastage. scissors or rotary cutter whatever you prefer and just don't forget to cut those little notches those are super important so that we know how far to gather it in and that's done so these are the two pieces that you're gonna have one for the front and one for the back we're gonna start by gathering and creating a gather stitch for the front piece so where the notch is we're gonna stitch a gathering stitch in between those two points So how you're going to gather this is you're going to use your straight stitch machine and you're going to use the largest, widest straight stitch setting, making sure you do not backtrack and leave a nice long tail end on either end. So a lot of nice thread tails at the end, right? Long, keep it long. And you're going to repeat that for both sides. So you'll end up with something like this. You can see the thread tails there. And now we're going to take the back piece and we're going to match it right sides together, making sure that we match those notches first. Now I'm using pins for this. I prefer pins for this. I'm using silk pins. They are extra fine clover pins. I really recommend them. They don't leave any marks in any of your fabrics. So I really recommend a pin and you'll see why in a minute. So you just want to match those notches. And when you're gathering, what happens is because it's a large stitch, um, you know, some people like to tie off the ends. I do not like to tie off the ends because sometimes you need to adjust it and I just don't like having it be like finite. I like to have options. So you're just going to loop one side like so just to keep it in place so it's not going to unravel when you gather it. And then you're just going to take one thread from the two and then we're just going to pull on that one thread just to gather it. When you're doing this step, you do not have to make the gathers perfect. All we're doing now is just making sure that we get the right size. So don't worry about how the gathers look now. We're just going to gather it so it's the right size and it's matching the back piece. So just double check. All right, see, I've, I've done too much. I need to let out a bit. So I'm just going to just keep adjusting. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier, which is looping it over the needle in a figure eight. So you see I'm happy with that, I'm taking my through two pieces of thread together and I'm looping it around my needle just to keep it in place so it does not move and does not ruin my gathers while I adjust it. And now all you have to do is just, you know, even out the gathers. happy with that just pin it down like I did here and you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side now we can just overlock those two edges and I prefer to overlock with the gather side up because it's just easier to control and make sure that I get all that stuff in the stitch take your time with this Then all you have to do is put the elastic on the waistband and on the hem of the skirt 
and I really recommend doing a little stitch over like a zigzag just to keep the elastic down and in place unfortunately my machine decided to die on me so I could not do this uh, but yeah that's basically it and now you have a cute skirt uh, that matches your bikini so this top is also available in the shop I will have the link below and I just think it's super cute and I hope you guys can try it out I'll see you in the next video guys bye